I've only had this room for like a week, and I've still managed to make it messy. Hey guys, welcome back to Church of Minecraft. So, as I was thinking about what to write for this week, I looked around my room and I thought, what a mess. I realized it kind of represents how I'm living my life right now. Recently, my life has been a constant struggle between me knowing what I'm supposed to do and me doing what I feel like doing. I know that it's a sin against God for me to waste the privileges he has given me on instant gratifications and enjoyment instead of getting my work done and preparing for my future life. Yet, no matter how many times I try to clean myself up, I keep slipping into my usual ways. This would lead me into despair if it weren't for the gospel. The amazing thing about Christianity, compared to all other religions, is that we do not need to clean ourselves up in order to obtain God's grace. That's why it's called grace. Yet, that is by no means an excuse to keep on sinning. While it may seem paradoxical, the Bible recognizes that none of us can be good enough on our own to earn God's favor. Romans 3.11 says, There is no one righteous, not even one. Yet, if we have faith in Christ, God will not judge us according to our own actions. Uh, Psalm 103, verse 10 says, He does not treat us as our sins deserve. This is because our Savior, Jesus Christ, took the punishment that should have been ours. Uh, Romans 3.25 says, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. Jesus said we need to be perfect to enter God's kingdom. When asked how this was possible, Jesus answered, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So what does that have to do with my messy room? Well, it amazes me that no matter how many times I have sinned against God, no matter how undeserving I am of his forgiveness, he forgives me anyway. As one of my favorite preachers, Vodi Bauckham, says, how on earth? Can a holy and righteous God know what I did and thought and said yesterday and not kill me in my sleep? That's called grace. Every breath I take is by his grace alone. The more I reflect on the truth of the gospel, the more of a reason I have to get my life together, not so that I can earn God's favor, but because the gospel motivates me to do so. God did not die on the cross to rescue me from an eternity in hell, so that I could sit around wasting the precious life he gave me. So therefore, we are saved by our faith and not by anything we have to do. But that is no excuse to keep living in sin. As St. Paul writes, What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? That's from Romans 6. The Gospel tells me, that I must not squander the privileges God has given me, but I must use them for his glory. So I guess that means I gotta clean up my room. Okay then.